Unusually for Yes, rehearsals today have started at 11am. Usually we don't start rehearsing until 3pm when Chris arrives, as he only gets out of bed when the sun is in the descendancy. Today was different. Last night, Chris never went to bed. Steve and I practicing long distance run around. Here's Steve and I practicing long distance run around again. beginning to show. Years and years of playing together. One of the lovely things about Yes is everybody's always so happy. Can hardly stop out and laughing at times. Welcome to another evening of uh, Songs with Yes. The lullaby here. The lullaby there. Hope you're enjoying yourselves there in the comfort of your own. And there's the crew as ever, busy as ever. The camera crew, as busy as ever. And the crew, as busy as ever. No, it's enough. <laughs> ah yes, Steve and Alan there, working on the new version of Roundabout which actually sounds like the old version of Roundabout. Ah, apparently it is a new version. And there's Chris playing away, unaware that the rest of the band have gone on a tea break. Never mind, he's enjoying himself. So basically, yeah. Oh, where have they gone? I might as well go as well. And Alan's gone. And Chris is still there. Somebody's coming to tell him that they've all gone for a tea break. Crew are discussing where the tea is. And now, in fact, it is the tea break. We've all been working really hard for about eight and a half minutes now, and it's time to have a cup of tea. Note the hustle and bustle and the intensity of the rehearsals as everybody prepares for this momentous occasion of the live broadcast around the Regal Cinemas. This is the great song, Time is Time, taken from the Magnification album, and it's great to see the band all playing together again. Hear the beautiful guitar, the lovely percussion, the piano, and Chris appears to have gone to bed. Busy the crew are, even at this time while the band is playing, getting last minute things ready.
Everybody has always felt that yes has been a loud band, but today we're playing quietly, mainly in order not to wake Chris up. Ah, the familiar sound of applause. And here's Steve showing everybody how he managed to thread a needle and cotton yesterday in order to mend a button on his trousers. Very often at rehearsals, one of us will start playing and everybody else will join in. There's Alan started and Steve's joined and now John's joined and now I've joined. And now everybody's stopped and Chris has started. Totally unaware that we've all stopped. in Yes are aware that the career in the arenas can't go on forever, so we're preparing for a future career once we can no longer do this. Who knows, in five years' time, it could be Yes at the Batley Variety Club in Northern England, Leeds. Just try to swallow in the uh, roundabout. Chris looking for his bass guitar, while Alan, like all drummers, continues to build a shed. The band always wished to ask loads of technical questions. John just checking there to see whether the reverb is on his voice naturally or coming electronically. the rehearsals gain intensity, the band move in to play Blue Moon, the theme tune for my own soccer team, Manchester City. But as we don't know the middle eight to that tune, we now move into something else. Yes, it's the verse of Blue Moon again. Three or four minutes now to transmission, and intensity really, really hots up. And so they move into things ain't what they used to be. It's long been known about the intensity of our yes rehearsals, and here is a rare insight, indeed, into how we work in order to create those wonderful stage shows that we do. The hustle and bustle continues on stage as we realize there's just a couple of minutes to go. What yes tune can we all do now just to get ourselves in the mood for the great moment that's to come? Ah yes, whispering while I cuddle near you. Another night at the 
single. And at ten past nine, Stripper will come on and take your clothes off. This was actually a live trailer that was going out to the cinemas everywhere. Just to announce the fact that we will be coming on and playing live in a few minutes. We were really pleased the way that went until we found out that none of the cinemas received any of the sound. So we played Whispering again. Hey everybody, they're in Cinema Land. Regal Cinemas presents an evening with yes. What more could we ask for? Everybody in Phoenix, Sacramento, New York, Buffalo, Philadelphia, Chicago, Indianapolis, Seattle. And all around America, in all those cinemas, in all of those places, they heard nothing. But up until that time, we want you to enjoy this, uh, this lovely DVD coming up. It's a three hour DVD and you will be witnessing a 45 minute version. Apparently in all the cinemas they did see the pictures though. Anyway, and then after the DVD we're going to come on and... Uh... So all the deaf people that went thoroughly enjoyed it. By 4 p.m. an excited, uncontrollable audience had arrived. It's amazing how young the Yes audience are these days. In fact, 85% of today's audience walked in unaided. I see some movement there. Pacemakers being checked. <laughs> Steve doing some last minute alterations to his guitar. Uh, please uh, have them on. Oh, <laughs> and uh, pacemakers off, please. <laughs> Just one minute away now from the big moment, and here's where we find out if all that rehearsal earlier in the day has paid off. We've had a quick meeting and have decided because of the failure of getting any sound through to the cinemas in the trailer, we would in fact record the whole set to be able to play in an emergency if necessary. And so last minute attention to detail is put together on stage. Alan there rattling something. Uh, don't do that Steve, it's a family video. Yes, you heard it yourself, just one minute away to find out whether all that intense rehearsal that Yes has put in has paid off to give the first live acoustic performance beamed through cinemas throughout the USA will really be as sensational as we all hope. Yes, Steve, I've told you not to do that. Um... Here we go, everybody, stand by. Five seconds, four. Big applause, three, two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to the Regal Cinema. Yes, live. Hope you're having a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the DVD. We're going to sing some songs and play some music for you. Here we go with a one, two, and a three, and a four. <laughs> yes, the careful rehearsals have seemed to be paying off. Everybody knows exactly where they're standing. They know where each piece of equipment is on stage. Except for Chris. That's a good start. I thought it was only one. Anybody remember the trogs? Here we are live. <laughs> Long distance, 
start the tape again, for God's sake. I thought the introduction was pretty cool, so keep the introduction and start from Rick and Steve. This, they, they're not, no, you're not going to do the introduction. You just do two. Da, 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 oh dear, not quite going according to plan. Yeah, yeah. You didn't do that. So we got to start from the top. Are we only doing one round at the beginning now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 just, it, it, you don't get to the introduction. Just one round. You're not coming in. You. Obviously, it is difficult because we've only been playing this piece for 34 years. No, but Chris came in then, but you didn't. Yeah, well, That's we didn't. why. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Big musical discussions going on here as we rearrange the piece of 34 years ago. I hope the tape in this. I really do. Don't worry, John. We are. Oh no, we can't edit. And you can't edit Screw. live stuff, John. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's okay. I think just going to do Chris, we're all facing the other way. Then the song. Ah, yes. Here we go again. Who would ever know? Maybe we'll be in Batley Variety Club earlier than expected. I can see us in two hours doing this. That's it. And again, guys, remember, you know, we can't stop. We, we can't do any editing. Now we know. 2004, no editing. Oh, God, what are we going to do? Freaky, I can't continue. It's just too much. We're in Hollywood and I can't do this shit anymore. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's just unpack everything and go home. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Yes at the Regal Cinemas. It's great to be with you this evening. I hope you enjoyed the DVD. What a crazy DVD it was. It was on our European tour, would you believe? We're gonna sing and play some songs for you and I hope you enjoy yourselves. So here we go, without further ado. So there you have it, a rare insight into the prog rock world behind the scenes with Yes, or Last of the Summer Wine meets the aging old farts.